Hey everybody, this is Matt with BongoBytes.com and the question for today is can Nick Software's HDRFX Pro be used as a standalone application? Meaning that you don't have to open it from Photoshop, Lightroom, or Aperture. And the answer to that question is yes. However, Nick Software doesn't promote it as a standalone because it doesn't have all the functionality as the full version. However, there is a workaround and I'm going to show you how to do that. Typically I start in the right hand corner by clicking on my spotlight and searching for HDR. You can see HDR Effects Pro is my top hit so I'm going to go ahead and open that and when the application opens a quick tip is to hit F and to go full screen. Next I would click on the file in the upper left hand corner and then click on open exposure series and that's going to allow me to choose the images that I want to load into HDRFX Pro. For this example, I'm just going to load one JPEG. However, you could upload multiple JPEGs or TIFF files. So I'm going to open the image. That's going to start to process and create my HDR image. Typically, I would start in the upper left-hand corner here by selecting a preset and then working my way across the application to the upper right for my global adjustments, selective adjustments with control points, maybe put a vignette on it, and then I would click save. Next it's going to ask me where I want to save the picture, and I'm going to go ahead and save that picture to the pictures folder. Click save, and there you go, you've edited an image with Nick Software's HDRFX Pro as a standalone.